Southeastern Conference. The road to Atlanta. Lorenzen going up top, looking for Sims, and dropped it. Battling Norm Lejeune. And Sims actually got both hands on the football. He did. He got a little face guarded by the defender, but it was incidental contact. They release Sims up the sideline and get him isolated on Lejeune. A little bump there at the end, maybe. But he put the ball in the bread basket again, just couldn't quite bring it down. You know what? I think that was a pretty good play by Norm Lejeune. Yeah, he, he kept himself from putting his hands on the guy. That's what you can't do. You can't put your hands on it. Spinner is not a big guy, but he's got a lot of strength. 215 pounder, 5 feet 11, and just keeps the legs turning. I'll tell you, we, we, we know there's some NFL scouts in the crowd right now, and he's proven that he gets stronger as the game goes along, and that's that's an attribute to a running back that you, you bring in and you give the ball 25, 30 times in a game. He's played a solid game. 127 yards, 5.3 average. Now remember, this LSU team hadn't given up 100 yards to a single rusher in over 12 games, and you got to go back 13 league games to find an SEC rusher with over 100. Dwan Hicks of Middle Tennessee was the last man to do it overall. That time, the Tigers on the spot. On third and a yard, I don't know that he made it that far. He had to get to the 30, he had to get to the stripe. Oh, they gave him a pretty good spot. Cameron Vaughn, Jack Hunt, brought down Penner, but a good spot for Kentucky. All right, well, the clock becomes your enemy now if you're Kentucky. You continue to mix the run in from time to time, and it's now start time to start screening, maybe getting the ball to Pinner out in space. You're going to have to throw the football some because you got 70 yards to go. Clock ticking, 4.35. Goes up top, looking for the speedster Sims. That time he was battled with, and a flag comes down. Randall Gay was on the coverage. I don't think there's much of a question about that. Play. No, I think this is a good call. He got his hands on him, and that's the big key. That's what they're looking for. If the hands are put on the receiver, they're going to call it. You see the hand reach out, grab the back. 15 yards from the previous spot. Automatic first down. That is the first penalty against LSU in the second half. They had seven for six. Hi, folks. I'm Bill Wheel Simon. See that trailer? That puppy's full of all sorts of... Ball rest at the 45. High formation. A wrench and hit and drop at the 38. Lavallee and Turner will get credit for the sack, and that's the Tigers' first sack of the big lefty, Jared Lorenzen. LSU's come to the realization if they're going to get the big guy down, they're going to have to come with pressure, and they come again with six people, and they're able to wrap him up, give him no escape routes, and knock him down. Only a two-man pattern. They only had two people out for Lorenzen to throw to, and credit the corners, blanket coverage. Second down at 17 now. That quieted the crowd down. Here comes more pressure. Lorenzen and Abnett gets taken to the turf and a flag comes in from the line judge on the far side. Boy, Abnett just went airborne. Jeremy Lawrence. Now, it doesn't take a lot to knock him up. No, but air. that's what the linebacker's job is to do. He's going to hover in the middle. And he's supposed to knock off crossing routes. Now, he didn't realize the ball had been already delivered, Back but that's his job. On the defense, penalty will be enforced at the spot of the foul. It will be an automatic first down. The reason the umpire did not make that call, and he's standing right there. You'll see him run by the umpire. Yeah, he's you say, well, why didn't, why didn't you make that call? He turns and look, He's looking at the offensive line. He's watching for holding and things like that. that. It's the line judge has to make that call, and he made the right one. Boy, this crowd, they've been on edge this entire second half. First down. R2's to the 47. R2's, by the way, since he
He went over 100 yards. It's the seventh time this year he's done that, tying the single-season Kentucky mark set by Mo Williams in 1995, who also had seven 100-yard games. He's still got a lot of time in the game, Dave. I don't think there's any reason to get in a big hurry. You gained, you had a good gain on first down. You're right around midfield. Lorenzen's got everything in control right now. Continue with this tempo. Second down and four. Pretty good spot, maybe to take a shot. There's Boone on a reverse. Let's see where they mark it. He had to get to the LSU 48. They'll mark it at uh, just inside the 49. Norm Lejeune. Run him out and ran him out of bounds. And that'll fight. Looks like they've marked it uh, about a yard shy of Marcus. Marcus Spears makes a super play here. He doesn't bite on the run. They've had success running the football. He stays at home, forces Boone to the outside, and Lejeune comes up and makes the tackle. But Marcus Spears they plays that perfectly. He's responsible for contained backside, stayed at home, did the job. And he's playing on a bad ankle. He missed Auburn with a high ankle sprain. Coaches didn't know how many snaps they would get out of Marcus today, but he's been in there for a majority of them. Gutsy performance by the left defensive end. Painter. On third and short, and a face mask. Norman Lejeune grabbed the pinner face mask, and that'll move Kentucky into LSU territory, deep into LSU territory if it's a 15-yarder. And an injured Kentucky player as well. Looks like Jeremiah Drobny. Number 84 is down. Incidental face mask on the defense. Five yards penalty. It will be a first down. Well, whether it's incidental or he meant to grab it, it re results from five yards to 15 yards. You be the judge. Looks like he may have pulled him down by the mask, but he tried to get his hand off of it. Nevertheless, that extends the drive. You get the first down, and you know, we've seen this a couple times. Defenses have helped the offense. Early in the half, it was Kentucky had a couple face mask penalties. Now Nick Saban's defense comes up with a bad play on the face mask. I'll say this, after the game, Nick Saban will speak about his penalties as either the reason they maybe lost this game or a contributor to why this game was so close. Seven in the first half, and on this drive, They've had four penalties already, and it's that's something he just cannot stand. Well, certainly in this situation, too, Dave, the, the, the game is on the line. And uh, I don't think, if he had a choice to make, I think he would like to see his defense out there trying to save the game for him. So he's, he's got the unit on the field that he wants out there. They just have made some mistakes here in this drive. Well, LSU has a tough road to go for an SEC West crown. Defending champs have only lost once, so the, the race is theirs to lose, but they've got some tough football games coming up. After this one, it's Alabama, Ole Miss, and Arkansas. Arkansas playing pretty well. Of course, uh, leading South Carolina was our last update. Uh, but I tell you, that's a tough place to go, too, Dave. you got to go into, uh, go into uh, Fayetteville and play at Razorback Stadium, the last game of the year with the SEC Championship possibly on the line. Arkansas, by the way, leading South Carolina 23 to nothing in the fourth quarter. Nick right now just wants to get out of Lexington. He's not worried about what's happening down the road. That's, you know, we talked about it, but, you know, absolutely right. He doesn't care about next week or three plays down the road. He cares about this play right here on first down and 10. Let's see how his defense plays it. Looking for Boone. Aaron Boone, touchdown! Wildcats, 44 yards. The third touchdown reception for Aaron Boone today.
They continue to pound the run, but look at the offensive line step up here. Look at all the time for the big fella to deliver. And again, a nice soft ball. Good pump fake the outside, pulled the safety out of the middle of the field, and then laid it up. And this isn't easy. Boone gears down and makes the catch. Aaron Boone, three touchdown receptions today. He has three catches for 112 yards. Of course, they've all been for six points. Lorenzen now 12 of 25, four touchdowns, 210 yards on the afternoon. Aaron Boone, a junior college transfer who spent a couple of years on a Mormon mission in 97 and 98 in Peru, has stepped up big time this afternoon. Lorenzen now this season with 24 touchdown passes, three interceptions. He puts his people up the bat, baby. He's lo he's lofting a few balls, and people people may say, well, they're thrown behind. No, he's putting his guy up the bat. He's put Boone up the bat three times. He's answered the call all three times, and that's a quality of a quarterback. He trusts his people to make plays. The offensive line steps up. Boone steps up. We're tied. Let's see how LSU can respond. Two great returners in Henderson and Davis. This looks like Henderson will have the chance from the three. Every Henderson runs into a blue jersey at the 18-yard line. Raymond Fontaine on the stop. Let's check in with Buzz. Buzz, I got to ask you, how loud is it down there? Boy, it is crazy down here right now, Dave, but I think a real good indicator is going to be how much confidence Nick Saban has in his young quarterback right now. His defense is so strong. Does he keep the ball on the ground, try to get a couple of first downs and get to OT? Or does he let the young guy take a couple of shots?
good kick out of the end zone. Abney from the 44. Derek Abney running backwards. A flag down.
Kentucky spends their last time out. Ooh, and Brent Peace is not happy with Jared Lorenzen about something. Maybe it was the timeout. But Taylor Begley, 8 of 12, kicking the football. His long is 49 yards. That shouldn't be an issue from where the ball is at the 12-yard line. But as a Kentucky boy growing up, you know he's dreamed about this. And he is about to make his way on to the football field. But Dave, we've seen a lot of comment in the NFL about when do you kick it. A lot of folks have chosen not to kick it on third down, and they've gotten burned. Kentucky's got the first down with 15 seconds left on the clock. If he misses, he'd still get another crack, it would seem to me. I couldn't agree with you more, Buzz. I think that's a great call. They get 15 if seconds. The ball they get a cross, bad snap. If the ball doesn't cross the line of scrimmage and Kentucky recovers it, they'll have another opportunity. Or if it's a bad snap, your holder just falls on the football and you line up again and hit it. Now, they don't have enough time. There's 15 seconds left. 29-yard field goal for the win. Two seconds to play. 
Guy Morris just got some Gatorade dumped on him. I think he'd feel a whole lot better had the clock ran out. Yeah. I'll tell you what, the Gatorade guy, you got to go get you another bucket because one bucket ain't going to do it. They got to go get him another bucket to get that guy. <laughs> now, see, they only got the back side of him, though. Lorenzo yeah. got the back side. They got to get another bucket to get the front side of him. <laughs> now, guys, got to, got to walk around freezing cold with a broken hand. Time for our BMW Ultimate Drive of the game, and it's not a very long drive, but a very important one. And it culminated with a touchdown pass from Jared Lorenzen to Aaron Boone. Seven plays, capped off 44-yard touchdown reception, made up 338.
get on the team, but you can still get in on all the action with the Altel Pigskin Pack, delivering ultimate wireless sports gear right to your phone. Sign up today and your first month is free, but only if you head to the Altel store near you. Altel, proud sponsor of serious football fans everywhere. SEC football has been brought to you by Alltel. Are you connected? By Pizza Hut. So much variety. The best pizzas under one roof. By Advance Auto Parts, where the best part is our people. And by Chick-fil-A. We didn't invent the chicken, just the chicken sandwich. One of the most incredible things I've ever seen in Southeastern Conference football. LSU with a 75 yard, and I call it a Hail Mary, call it whatever you want. You were just telling me to break. That's why the debate rages about it, whether you kick it with no time left. Well, it should have run it down and kicked the field goal. Hindsight's 20-20, but we talked about how LSU's got a tremendous amount of athletes on the field and they're never out of it. Anderson proved that one to us. Don't forget, next week, we don't know our game, but check jpsports.com. LSU wins at 33-30 for Dave Archer, Dave Baker. I'm Dave Neal. So long, everybody. We'll see you down the road.